Bison. Today is Earth Day. Celebrate this wonderful planet that we live on, the third planet from the sun. It has beautiful big chunks of land called continents, and we know their names. Asia, Africa, North and South America, Europe, Australia, and Antarctica too. Seven continents. But those continents, those land masses that we live on, are surrounded by something. Something wet, something important to our survival. That's right, oceans. Let's sing about the oceans today. Oceans, 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 cover most of Earth, cover most of Earth. Oceans give us food, oceans give us weather, we need them so, we need them so. Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, full of fish, full of sharks. It's a big, big ocean. It's a big, big ocean, but not the biggest, but not the biggest. Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean, full of fish, full of sharks. It's a big, big ocean. It's a big, big ocean, the biggest in the world, the biggest in the world. Indian Ocean, Indian Ocean, full of fish, full of sharks. It's a warm, warm ocean, it's a warm, warm ocean, the warmest in the world, the warmest in the world. Arctic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, full of fish, full of sharks. It's a cold, cold ocean. It's a cold, cold ocean. It's way up north. It's way up north. Southern Ocean, Southern Ocean, full of fish, full of sharks. It's a cold, cold ocean. It's a cold, cold ocean. It's way down south. It's way down south. Wow, we know a lot about the oceans. How about I give you a little quiz? How many oceans are there on this planet Earth? Can you name them all? Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, Southern. Did you say five oceans? That's right, we have five oceans on our planet Earth. They give us weather, the rain. They give us food. They are so important. If you were gonna go swimming on an, in an ocean, which one would you pick? I would pick the Indian too, because it's the warmest in the world. It would feel nice to swim in. What ocean is the biggest ocean in the world? Not the Atlantic. The Pacific Ocean. You got it. So today is a day to celebrate our planet, to get outside, to help planet Earth to plant some plants, to pick up some trash, to sort your recycling, and let's all celebrate this wonderful earth that takes care of us, and let's take care of it. We are going to get outside in nature today by making our very own nature treasure boxes. You need an egg carton. Let's open this guy up. Inside, there's lots of little compartments. This is where we are going to put our nature treasures. How many compartments are there? A compartment, a little place to store something. Let's see, to hold something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 
11, 12. There are 12 compartments in our egg carton. There was a name for that number 12 when it's a group like this. We talked about it with our coding game. Do you remember the other word for 12? A dozen, a dozen. We can find 12 treasures, a dozen treasures outside. But first, we need to transform this plain egg carton into a treasure box. We are helping take care of our planet because we're not throwing this into the trash. We are recycling. We're going to reuse this egg carton and turn it into a beautiful treasure box. So grab some items to decorate. You might use markers. You might find some fun items to stick on it like jewels or pom-poms. I've got some paint out and I'm gonna decorate my treasure box. You can add color wherever you like. What will you make your treasure box look like? A pirate's treasure? What do pirates have on their treasure boxes? A lock maybe? Are you going to design a lock for your treasure box? I'm gonna make mine look very beautiful and then I'll store items inside. I'm gonna add some jewels to the top. Then the real treasure will be whatever wonderful things I can find outside. All right, I'm going to let this beautiful treasure box dry and meet you out there. Once yours is decorated, come outside with me. The ice in my nature treasure box is dried. I'm ready to find some wonderful things to fill my compartments with. When I go outside, I like to sit in the nature for just a moment. I like to Think of something that is getting my attention from each of my five senses. First, I'm going to listen. I hear several birds chirping. Then I'm going to smell. Ooh. I smell grass, the smell of grass. Oh, it's wonderful. Then I'm going to look. Ooh, I see the clouds in the sky. They're blanketing the sky like maybe it might rain later. And then I'm going to feel. Do you see that? My hair blowing in the wind. I can feel the wind. Wow. I love being out in nature. It makes me feel so calm inside. It makes me notice how wonderful and beautiful our world is. I'm ready to find some treasures to fill in here. What will I hunt down? Let me go see. I found a yellow dandelion. I'm gonna stick that in one of my treasure box compartments. Let me keep looking. found a dandelion that has its seeds. All of those will blow in the wind and be planted somewhere else. Let me tuck that in my treasure box. I found a really neat rock. It looks like a triangle to me with a sharp point. I'm going to tuck that away. Hmm, anything else? Oh, wow. 
Here are some pretty white flowers. Let me add that to my nature treasure box. It's getting full. I wonder if I can find a dozen items, 12, to fill my nature treasure box. Going on a nature hunt. Gonna find some cool stuff. I'm not afraid. What will you find today? Have fun, Bison, with your nature treasure boxes. Way to recycle and reuse an egg carton to celebrate our planet Earth today. All right, let's take it outside to keep celebrating our planet Earth and be out in the wonderful nature. We're going to make our very own sidewalk chalk paint. Now this is a wonderful way to create some art. It's a wonderful way to cheer up your neighborhood. I've seen people design neat footpaths and trails to invite their neighbor friends to play on, like hopping paths, skipping, spinning, lines to follow and balance on. There are so many fun things you can do with sidewalk chalk, and we're going to make our own sidewalk chalk paint today. So, you're going to need cornstarch, water, something to measure with. It doesn't matter the size. Whatever size you have, we're going to make it equal. One part water, one part cornstarch. Same size. One spoon of cornstarch, one spoon of water, and some food coloring to make the paint different shades and different colors. So, I've got a little container here. Let me grab it. There it is. I'm gonna mix mine in a container that's divided so I can make some different colors. Let me show you how we're gonna do this today. I'm gonna take a spoonful of cornstarch, one tablespoon. That's the biggest spoon, the biggest on a ring of measuring spoons. I picked the biggest. I'm gonna put one spoon in each of these. I have four different shades of food coloring, so I'll do four. One, two, three, and four. Can you see? I put a spoon of cornstarch in each container. Now what do I need to add next? The water and one spoon. So I'll take my water and my spoon and I could dip it. I could pour. Let's try pour. And I'm going to put some water in each of the spots that I have put cornstarch. One spoon of cornstarch equal with one spoon of water. Careful, slow, careful hands while you pour. And I'm going to mix it up. If your paint is too thick, you just add a little more water. And mix it up. And pour. Okay, and then it's to add the color. You'll just add a couple drops of each color in and then give it a good stir and you'll be ready to create. This will wash off your sidewalk but you could have a lot of fun designing and brightening your neighborhood and our planet Earth on Earth Day. Alright, I've got my colors mixed up and I'm ready to paint. I'm going to paint the planet Earth today for Earth Day. I'm going to start with the continents. I'll paint some green continents. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I know that continents, the big land masses, are surrounded by water. So let me paint the blue water. 
Now, to be a planet, I know it has to be a sphere. Gravity has to pull it into a sphere to be a planet. So a flat sphere, because I'm painting on a flat ground, would be a circle shape. I'm going to put the blue water for the ocean all around my green continent. Ooh, all five of these oceans are here in my circle. And then you know what? I love living on our planet Earth. It's such a wonderful place with so many different environments. I'm going to do some hearts around my Earth. Have fun today creating outside. And if it rains this afternoon, don't worry. Your pictures may wash away, but you know how to make your own chalk paint so you can create some more tomorrow. The last thing I wanted to do for Earth Day was introduce you to a special friend of mine. This, and he's being really shy right now, is my goat. This is little Nikki. Nick, I have him on a harness so I can show you Nikki. Hi, there he is. Hi, he's got horns. He likes to eat all the vines and grass. He's got fur <laughs> and little tiny hooves. <sighs> he helps us take care of our yard. He eats all sorts of things, grass and vines and leaves. He's a pretty fun goat to have as a friend. Hi, Nick. All right, Bison, so have a great day today celebrating this wonderful world we all share, this beautiful planet Earth. Take care of it. Turn lights off. Take quick showers. Don't waste water. Recycle your garbage. Plant some new plants to give us oxygen and take care of our Earth. Have a great day.